Oh, you started already. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome back to Get a Couple Gaming. <laughs> I guess we're just getting right into the swing yeah, of things. I, I just made the sound. I thought you knew what the sound meant. <laughs> I knew what this... Well, I don't know. Like, I said, let's do one more or something, and you're just like, oh, hey, let's get right to it. <laughs> okay. Well, I said, okay, and then it went, poop. <laughs> I don't know. Usually I hear, like, a ready, let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm just super enthusiastic about getting back into this. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I fucking love doing this, otherwise I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I want to get that missile expansion before I forget, because when I was doing my uh, my test run, I, I forgot that one. Good job. But, um, you know, get it now. Get it out of the way. Oh, you're warm. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to just, like, once I beat the, once I beat the next temple, just to do all the backtracking. Yeah, I, I do really like my exploring games. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, we've been to this area all before. We're just going another way now. So you'll recognize a lot of these areas. Green. Yep. It's actually cool how they do the elevators, like, to show what color it is. Like, a green elevator means you're going down, and a blue elevator means you're going up. I it's, did it, not know that. It's a very minor graphical touch, but it's still cool. Yeah, I, did, I hadn't noticed that at all until you said something. Yeah, well, now you know. Uh, there's a dark portal there. I'm not going to use it yet. Yeah. Let me in. So, uh, here's what the Dark Visor does. I mentioned with the Seeker Missile that you can find these little hidden things. Mm -hmm. Now they're combining shit. Yeah, combining the dark missiles and the, uh, or the dark visor and the seeker missiles. So, welcome back here. Every time you say seeker missiles, it makes you think you're gonna say, like, seeker framped. Seeker framped? Like, King Seeker framped? Yeah. I mean, he's got a cool voice. I can't say I remember his voice, to be honest. He's got, like, a, oh, we're going to use the Lord Vessel! <laughs> Next time you play Dark Souls, which is probably gonna be later tonight, I will. I will pay attention. Yeah. If you talk to him. Um, I'm actually, in my playthrough that I'm doing right now, I'm not going to talk to the King Seeker Framped. What? Why not? Well, I mentioned there's two dudes. There's a Karth and... There's Koth and Framped. Oh, yeah. Um, like, you can only talk to one or the other in a playthrough. Except with the use of, like, some crazy glitches, which lets you use both of them. But... Um, oh, did they take you to do two different pathways? No. The thing is, like, they both offer different services. And, like, if you talk to one, like, they both kind of have, like, different views on how things work. Like, one wants to extend the Age of Fire, one wants to do the Age of Dark or whatever. And, um, so, like, if you talk to one, then the other will not appear. So, like, I can, so, like, I speak to King Seeker Framed, and, uh, Koth will not appear. However, I want to talk to, uh, Koth in this playthrough... Because since I'm trying to get the rest of the achievements, I still need to join the uh, the Dark Wraith Covenant. Uh, okay. Yeah. When I do the playthrough for the channel, I'm going to talk to a. Uh, I'm going to be using Framped. Because, like, they both have their own services that they use, and I like Framped's services a lot more. Mm -hmm. By the way, we're in the Sanctuary Fortress. We're in a uh, Sky Mountain temple that, for some reason, we had to take an elevator going down to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, we took an elevator going down to get to the Sky Mountain temple fortress. Alright. That makes total sense. And yeah, so I guess all that... Yeah, yeah, and the rain is going upwards. Gravity is just all kinds of fucked up here. That and is logic. A figment of our imaginations. Die. Oh, God. These are all like elite pirates now. Oh, wait, why am I not just using these fucking super missiles? Oh, God. There's one pirate dead. Okay. I have to kill all. These pirates are huge. Yeah, they're tall, man, like... Like, much bigger than your normal run-of-the-mill pirate. Well, usually pirates are human. Usually, yeah. I mean, Samus is fucking tall, and these guys look giant. 
Yeah, Samus is fucking 6'3". That's really tall. It is. I just realized I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. Also, I'm in the Sanctuary Fortress and I have four energy tanks. Is that good or bad? I'm running really low. Okay. Because I, I don't know. I don't know specifics. Eh, what? How many more pirates are there? Um, there's the entire army. Just waiting to fuck you up. Okay, that sounds like the end of the pirates. Pirates of the cured bean. <laughs> Pir taking a lot of stretches. Pirates of the cured pirates. <laughs> uh, pirates of the Kara Sanctuary. Or simply just Pirates of the Carrot. Pirates of the Carabiner. Yeah. I didn't know that was what those things are called. I didn't either, but I mean, oh, hold on. I, I didn't realize that until one of my managers at Burger King was talking about it. Wow, I can uh, just one-shot these guys. And I was just like, what's a Carabiner? And they're like, oh, it's the clippy thing. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, that clippy thing that I wear on my pants, actually. Yeah. Um, here, I need that health. I actually had it. My keys are on one, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're on, like, a tiny one. Yeah. I don't usually catch that because they're not hanging off the side of your pants like they are on mine. Oh, my God, in high school, I always had my keys on me. <laughs> I was one of those kids that had a fucking lanyard in, uh... I would have had a lanyard, but, like, it was just so much more convenient to hook them to, like, the side of my pants. Okay, that works. I'm gonna ignore that guy. Those enemies are actually really annoying. Because they can do attacks that, like, screw up your, um, screw up your HUD. Oh, man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I remember those. Yep, also, that guy's annoying. Also, I gotta go this way. Oh, also, I have to actually fight him. Was that the game, or was that a fire alarm? That was the game. Okay. Just making sure. Okay, yeah, okay. I got you. <laughs> it sounds like a fire alarm. I know, it does sound like a fire alarm, but... Okay, now I'm just gonna wait until this guy goes and do a... Uh... There we go. These guys are annoying because they have two versions. Like, they have two uh, phases. So you attack him. I'm gonna get health. I gotta get health. <laughs> Give me some health, please. Nope. And that's okay. I think this is a save room, actually. And yep, sweet saving. Ooh, Ooh sweet saving. I love it when you make that sound. I don't know why. I, think it, I just think it's funny. Just ooh. <laughs> it's like when you go no. <laughs> <laughs> Except not quite as like making me cry with laughter. Just more cute, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I like this area. Like, you get all the best items in this area. You're the best item. <laughs> like, uh, I think, I think the first item that we're. Oh, that's right. I can't do that yet. <laughs> Yeah, I think the first item we're getting here, actually, is the, uh... Ah! With, with the exception of the, uh, the final translator, is going to be the, um, the spider ball. Ooh! Mm-hmm. see, because I know it's a... Ow, fuck. I like the spider ball. I just like the way it looks, and, like, the stuff it can do. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I don't know very much about it, but I like it. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, yeah, it's a spider ball, spider ball, a uh, new visor, um, then a bunch of other stuff that I probably should not spoil. Don't do it, motherfucker. Oh, that's right, I gotta do it in the right order. Nope. Okay, hold on. Try blue next. Yeah, it's yellow, blue, red, and then green. Yeah. 
puzzles. That's not anywhere near as annoying as the, uh... The glyph puzzle? No, not the glyph puzzle, the... Oh, yeah, the glyph puzzle, the one I was doing to get the, uh, yeah. seeker missiles. Oh, man, I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Um, or something I should have mentioned, actually. So I was talking about Dark Souls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, um, whoever was the anonymous donor of the, uh, oh, yeah. the Prepare to Die edition... Uh, for Xbox, thank you so much. Yeah, shit, man. Like, yeah, like, that is, like, so, I got a message from an anonymous person on my Tumblr saying, like, hey, I know you, like, I really like your stuff, I really like Get a Cope of Gaming, and then they said, like, I know you really like, um, Dark Souls, so here is a free download, like, if you don't have it already, for the Artorius of the Abyss, uh, downloadable content, or, like, PC users will know as the Prepare to Die edition. And I saw that, it's like, that is $15 worth of downloadable content. Like, thank you so much to whoever downloaded, to whoever gave that to me. Because that's so fucking awesome. Yeah, man, like... I think, I think I'm going... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa! Wait. Ah, oh, God. Okay, can I... I oh. forgot. Those Metroids still exist. That was a gross crunch. How do I kill these guys again? Um, oh, high powered burst of light. Yeah, I hope you like uh, busy screens. Ugh. Okay, yeah, this had not but a missile expansion. Oh well, get it out of the way now. Skitch, skitch, skitch. Ooh. Oh, another thing that I should mention about the Echo Vi or the uh, not the uh, shit. <laughs> well, I just spoiled that. The uh, the Dark Visor is that. It, we, it is, um, uh, required to beat the game. The Dark Visor? Yeah. Because we needed to find the, uh, the Sky Temple keys. And, obviously there are nine of them in all, and without the, uh, the Dark Visor, we cannot find the containers for the Sky Temple keys. Hmm. So, pretty much, unless you can crazy sequence break... Or, actually, no, you wouldn't even be able to get there by sequence breaking. Unless, like, unless you have the Dark Visor, you cannot beat the game. It is impossible. So, uh, there you go. Now I know what I must do. Yep. So, what sucks about speedrunning this game is you have to do Torvus Bog. Although every speedrun of this game that I've seen has been able to do, um, hold on. Shit. Nick. <laughs> I, I locked onto the wrong thing. Oh, man. That was kind of funny, actually. Well, chortle, chortle, chortle. Um, hey, was there two? I just, you know. One, two, three. Oh, damn it. I'm locked on to all the wrong things. That's okay. I'm locking on to things that you don't need to lock on to. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill you, and then lock on all these things. Ba, 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 ba. That opens that area. Which I think I do actually need to go back to, uh, to light, to the light sanctuary fortress, because I think if I continue going on here, there it is. Well, that was yep, me. cannot go there yet. I do like this area. I like how it looks. I like, you know, how it's laid out. I think the enemies are cool in it. I don't know, like, compared to Dark Torvis, like, this is a relief. <laughs> so, I mean, whereas Torvis Bog was a lot of silver lining in, like, oh, at least this, you know, this part is all, like, all hell fucking lining. yeah. All of it is silver. No, this whole area is just fucking gold. There's a uh, fucking gold gaming, which was a uh, mo the let's play channel that I tried to run <laughs> for like two parts. Wait, I thought this one goes down. I thought it was Golden Guard of Wars. Well, it was it was fucking gold, and then it was Gold Guard of Wars. So um, yeah, freshman year of college, uh. I was there for this. Yeah, you were there for this. Uh, my old roommate and I and um, our buddy uh, Randy, we 
wanted to do a Let's Play channel. This is before like I had the Hop Hog and anything uh, called the Golden Guard of Wars. And like it started off as fucking gold gaming. Like we got that name because uh, from Nick playing Catherine. <laughs> and then it became the Golden Guard of Wars. And then uh, that really didn't do anything. Yeah, you played like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah, we played Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and uh, that was that. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Yeah, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Let's see, uh, hold on. I'm doing this all wrong. Puzzle time. Puzzle time. Wait. There we go. There you go. And then this one opens up. And I get a, uh, a bam slot. And that deactivates one of those things? Yep, it's deactivating the giant one. We only need to deactivate two of those things. I think here's a save room. Yep, save room. Oh, yeah. You can look out at the uh, the upward digital rain. Uh, those clouds look really cool. Yeah, they do. I really like the lighting. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty nifty too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I just saw, like, a seam in the graphics. You could tell that it's a skybox. I like <laughs> this right here. Just how fucking digital it looks and how just so awesome it is. Sanctuary Fortress is super cool. The only trade-off that the Sanctuary Fortress has is that it has what most players consider to be the most annoying boss in the game. But it's not to me. I feel like... I, sh I want to ask you, but I shouldn't spoil anything, so... Yep, no I'm spoilers not, here. I'm not going to ask you. Come on, get in the spinner. Yep, no spoilers here. I'll ask you after we stop recording. Yep, not going through that room yet. There is a sequence break in that room that you can do. Um, you can use a long dash jump to get to, but I have not been able to pull that off. What it does is it can get you an early energy tank, and you can get some other cool shit from it. Like, it takes you just to hold this to a whole different area. Oh. Ah, Gotta fight this guy. Pro tip for these guys, always get the head out of the way first. Makes it a lot easier on yourself. <laughs> And I think it's done. Yep, all done. I oh, five. never mind. Stop dodging. Oh. Another thing that a lot of these enemies will do is that they'll have a... Come on. They'll have a energy fields of other, like, the opposite energy. So you have to use, like... If they have a white barrier, you have to use dark energy. If they have a purple barrier, you have to use a light. You have to use light energy. And it's done. Let me through, please. Huh. All right. I'm actually really glad I got to do Child of Eden for the channel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was, that was like the, one of the first games we played. Yeah. That's a fun game. Kind of tires you out if you play the entire game in one sitting, but really fucks with your eyes if you play it all in one sitting. I don't know. I was fine. It's a very well. I mean, yeah, it's a very strenuous game, honestly. Like but it's so much fun. Like, well, so is Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but um, Child of Eden is physically strenuous. Dark Souls yeah. is just frustrating. Yeah. The only strain you're going to be getting out of Dark Souls is, ah, oh, fucking damn it! Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit, dude! Ah, oh, shit, dude! I fucking died. Oh, I didn't get the item. I gotta get my souls back. Yeah, I gotta get my souls. So this part's also going to run a little long because I need to do this and then get back to a save point. So yeah, here's the last sentinel of the Sanctuary Fortress. Used to be a great fortress, a safe haven for our people during the war. 
Also holds portals to the Ing Hive. He's got like really squinty eyes. <laughs> He's like, hmm. hmm. I built a number of mechanical sentinels to join me in battle. They're made to fight for the Ing and fight them. They did for a time. So yeah, this guy's fucking. This guy's responsible for all the machines attacking us. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks, asshole. Give me something. <laughs> yeah. Expect them when you were in the Ying Hive. The Ying like to use them as guards. They'll protect their home with great ferocity. There we go. So now we have the Cobalt Translator. So now we can open up every translator door. Nice. Redeem my fallen honor in battle, but my time has passed. Oh, and there's his dead body. Yeah, my time has passed. You see, I'm dead over there. <laughs> Look, it's me. Look at how dead I am. <laughs> Body is perfectly intact, but, um... But his ghost lives on. Yeah, his ghost lives on, and his body apparently does not know what decay is. Just wait for the rigor mortis to set in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he said that, and all I could think of was, like, you go back to his body, and he's got, like, mantis arms. <laughs> like, they're all folded up next to his, like, chest. Just uh, like... Like a fucking spider? Yes. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Is... Okay, yep. Door system's online. His legs Ooh. are all, like, bent back and curled in towards his stomach. <laughs> oh, man. Um... It'd be fucking gross. I do not want to go here yet. No, you want to go to the safe point. Yeah, because that will... Oh, you know what? I think I have to. Babe, no. Well, hold on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I actually have to, or like, if I have to do this right away. This part might be, this part might go on much longer. I made a bad choice in doing this. I should have cut it off early. <laughs> it's alright. I'm sure they don't mind listening to the dulcet sounds of our voices. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here it is. So, uh, take note. Scan that. You will not get an opportunity to later in the game. Yep, this part's running long. May I introduce you to the Spider Guardian? Oh, shit. This is what most players will consider to be the most annoying boss in the whole game. I didn't know this was coming. Well, now you do. Yeah, I was looking at what I needed to, like, where I needed to be. Hold on. I need to attack you so that I can get over here. Oh, no. I need to attack you one more time. Because if I attack you enough, it activates the bomb slot. Now, when I say annoying, I mean tedious. Not hard, but tedious. And that's something that a lot of the that a lot of the bosses in this game suffer from. Is just tediousness. What this boss requires is that you go through a bunch of different phases of Hey, beat the shit out of him. <laughs> like Lure him on these tracks. Because you gotta, you know, fucking... There we go. Will that do anything? There we go. I think that got his, uh, his fast phase going. Yep. I think this phase is the most annoying. Or, the most tedious. And eventually, platform. Platform? Yeah, that should do it. There we go. Now the platform comes out. Wait, no, shit. I need to get back over here. And go. And up. And then down I go. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> I just up, froze in midair. Up, up, and you're stuck to the wall. Good yep. Time. Be careful your boob doesn't like, hit the timer or anything. <laughs> Okay. My titties will do what they please. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Be free, me tatas. Oh, matata. Oh, matatas. That's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> or is it like Omane and uh, Rattata? <laughs> yeah, Oma. Yeah, Omatata. <laughs> okay. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Honestly, what makes this fight annoying is the fact that, like, 
you have to hit him quite a couple of times before you before you get like these platforms open or anything. Uh, so now the platforms should raise. There we go. I'm gonna chill down here for a bit. I'll just chill in the bomb slot for a while. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. Okay, yeah, that phrase, that phase is done. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. The last phase only has one um, thing you need to do, but it, this is the part that can take the longest. Also, missile expansion up there, so, uh, you know, don't lose sight of that. Free health. Free health. <laughs> Free health. <laughs> Free healthcare? What is this, Canada? Yeah. Free healthcare! Okay. How positively un-American. <laughs> I'm dealing with this American-ass bullshit. Okay. Yeah, here you gotta run him through three different phases. Get him up there. And get him attacked. Well, once we hit him through these three, then it's it's done. It's, it's over? Yep. Oh. Oh, hiccup. Okay. Get him through there. We want to jump up here. Honestly, the Wii's controls can make this a little difficult. But there's phase two. You know, I'm getting through this a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. Yeah, it's not too you are doing awesome. I mean, it's still annoying, but... You are the best at Metroid. <laughs> I, would, I, I know would. that's a lie, but I said it anyways. Because I love you, and I want you to think very highly of yourself. <laughs> well, thank you for the boost, for the vote of confidence. For the boost, for the boost ball? Yeah, oh, jeez. The butt ball? I gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up. Get up there, mother... Gotta get up oh, there! No, I gotta do it again. Gotta do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the sound you made. Just dirt. That's what makes this part annoying. Because you gotta do this. And like, honestly, being on the slope there, that's the annoying part. Uh, oh, come on. Get up there, motherfucker. There you go. There you go, okay. So that's two. I jump over here to make three. Come on, you fucking! I feel like Robin Williams. That's that. Come on, you right fucking bastard! Okay, that's it. That's the Spider Guardian. Nice. Yep. And it's a wiggly spider. Yep. You gotta get power in the next room, though. Oh, you gotta go all the way over there. Yep, and we'll be coming back to that. Uh, and we'll be coming back to that room, actually. So, here is one of the best items in Metroid history. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Tires. Tires. Oh, hey there. Hey, Hansel. These tires have the traction to climb a fucking wall. Well, you're not, you're not lying. Yep, this is a spider ball. I like the spider ball. Now we can go back and get ourselves a save point. Do it. Oh, also get the thingy. Oh yeah, I gotta get that uh, missile expansion. Yeah, don't forget the missile expansion. Mm-hmm. Fun fact, actually, um, you can sequence break this game, like with that infinite speed glitch in the. Like, why can I not speak? Are yeah, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> with that infinite speed glitch in the beginning, um, like you do keep the spider ball. However, most of the spider ball tracks will not work. Hold on. Um, Weird. What's the quickest way back? This way, okay. You're gonna find. Where's the quickest save point? It's this way. I'm just gonna go back to the one at the dynamo. So you know what? I'll cut things off here, and we will see you all on the next exciting episode of Get Equipped with Gaming. Bye, guys. Take care, you pretty people.